down. If anyone hasn't checked in with their town clerk, please do that. Um, if you want to vote, you need to check in with your town clerk. So the legal voters of the Woodstock Central Modified Unified Union District are further warned and notified to meet at the Woodstock High School Middle School Teagle Library located in Woodstock, Vermont on Monday, March 9, 2020 at 6 p.m. for the purpose of transacting business not involving voting by Australian ballot. So our first article is Article 5. The first four articles were the ones that were voted by Australian ballot last Tuesday. Article 5, to elect a moderator who shall assume office upon election and shall serve for a term of one year or until their successor is elected and qualified. Are there any nominations from no, uh, moderator? So who are you? Jim Half has moved Matt Maxim. Any other? Uh, is there a second? Second. Second by Reyna. Any other nominations? Seeing none, I would entertain a motion to close nominations. Motion to close nominations. All right. Second. Sure. Sure. All those in favor of closing nominations, say aye. Aye. All right. All those oppose. Uh, all those opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Um, all those in favor of Matt Maxim as the moderator, say aye. Aye. Those opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Article six: To elect a clerk who shall enter upon their duties on July 1st following their election and shall serve a term of one year or until their successor is elected and qualified. Any nominations for clerk? It is Tim Bishop currently. No, is do you want you to still, do it next year? Is he still willing is probably a better question. Give it up, Jim. <laughs> It can be any registered voter. Who here wants it? What is the town clerk do? So the, the, the district clerk doesn't have many duties. They, this is he's right filling here. in for the, the town clerks who aren't here right now. And he might be called on um, to sign a bank form or something like that. Is my I second Adam's nomination of Ben Ford. All right. It's all his hopes and aspirations. <laughs> <laughs> Motion to close nominations. There's second. second. All moved. All in favor of closing nominations? Aye. 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 All those in favor of Ben Ford as district clerk, say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Article 7. To elect a treasurer who shall enter upon their duties on July 1st following their election and shall serve a term of one year or until their successor is elected and qualified. Would she still no. like the position? Calista yes. is still willing to do the job. And like is a strong word. <laughs> <laughs> Second so the motion. Moved. All right. So moved by Jim. Seconded by Sherry. Sherry, second. Motion for closing. Who said that? Jim. 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 Second. All those in favor of closing nomination, say aye. 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 Let's oppose nay. All right. Those in favor of electing Calista Brennan as the district treasurer, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. <clears throat> the ayes have it. Right. Article 8, to determine and approve compensation, if any, to be paid district officers. And just for um, your information, currently we pay $6,500 for the treasurer, uh, zero for the clerk, and $50 per meeting for the moderator. So move, keep the same. Jim Half has moved for the same compensation. Second. I'm sorry, your name? Pam Pamela. Pamela. Motion to close. Oh, we don't need to on that. Oh, okay. We're not. Unless anyone has any, wants to amend mm -hmm. those numbers, if everyone's, if there are any questions about the article. If there are none, we can then vote on it. So, um, the article would be to pay our treasurer $6,500, our clerk zero, and $50 per meeting for the moderator. Those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed nay. Aye. The ayes have it. <coughs> article 9. To determine and approve compensation, if any, to be paid to school directors. 
Um, currently, um, what was voted last year was $2,000 per member per year and $5,000 for the chair and vice chair. The board has stepped up to say zero dollars across the board. That's my motion. Okay. So there's a motion to um, pay our directors zero dollars. So second by Claire. Any further discussion about Article 9? The board discussed it already. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Okay, Article 10. To ratify and confirm the outcome of the March 3rd, 2020 Australian ballot voting. Um, many of you have a handout <coughs> with the totals from the different towns. Um, and it's missing the bottom column, uh, which had Woodstock and the totals. Um, so Article 2, to accept Barnard School District, the district-wide total was 2,364 yes, 549 no. Um, and should we do them individually? Or the whole thing? Right, and so the Article 3 was um, was approved 1,677 to 1,216 district-wide, which makes Article 4 moot. Um, or, because, or Article 2 made Article 4 uh, moot. Because Barnard was approved, it would be Article 3. So Jim, motion to ratify. Motion to ratify. Jim Half, a second. Second. Sam? Sure. Um, any? Further questions or comments on that? Mr. Monterey? Yes. I just hope that the uh, the numbers would be included for Woodstock when it's... My apologies. We had two tables in one email, and the wrong table accidentally got printed out of the email. Yes, and I, I, I have... I can read them and if I can, you'd like to hear And them. it is on our website, and I can give them to you. So yes, the Woodstock totals were, uh, for Article 2, 1,062 yes, 183 no. And for Article 3, it was 775 yes, 450 no. <coughs> yes? Um, on a different topic, it, it, I think that now that that's been ratified, that um, it, the word modified should be dropped from um, the proceedings and from here forward, because we are no longer modified. Um, I think we could probably do that under Article 13. So Article 11 is, um, whoops, sorry, 10, Article yeah. 10, uh, to ratify and confirm, has been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. The ayes have it. Article 11, to establish the date of the future annual district meetings. So um, my understanding is there's been some question about moving it to town meeting day or to April or... Now Keeping it the same. Now that we're a modified board, right, and we're all unified, 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 board. Board, <laughs> unified. Um, and all these things are supposed to be put underneath the, the um, town vote, correct, Rainer? Or we're moving up the same. So board? we have two options here. So the district, uh, the voters of the district, establish the date of the meeting. Our options are to either hold everything on town meeting day. The date of the Australian ballot and the date of this meeting has to be the same day. So we have to either move it to like town meeting day where we'll get a lot of registered voters to come out because they're used to town meeting day. Or we can move it to a date, say, in April where we'll have a more well-informed budget because we'll have all of the data from the state. <coughs> and we'll have the time to put together a very well-informed budget, but we won't get the voter turnout because nobody's used to voting in April. And it's Australian ballot, so it's a sacrifice on voters. If, just a question on that. If the Australian ballot still has <coughs> in the home towns, yeah. um, so then would the, the you're saying this meeting need, would need to happen on that This same meeting would day? happen on town meeting day. So it would happen later in the day, I guess, so people could attend their town meetings right. and then come later to the... Yeah. So to start this, guys, I'll make a motion to keep it as um, town meeting day. Second. And the reasoning for that is, is that I think we have a lot bigger turnout on town meeting day, even though it's going to mess up our budget information at the time, but we've got a lot in front of us yes. anyway. 
Sam has I'm, I may not fully understand the implications of this, but it seems like um, having the information, the financial information from the state that sometimes, irrespective of when town meeting day is, comes out a little bit later would be right. nice. Right, and that's the, that's, that's the, yeah. that's the, the balancing act. Personally, this year I would like to have known, you know, what our pupil account was prior to you guys having to sort out the budget. It seems like it would make it a lot, I don't know. I don't know if that, if that is in the mix, like if we don't if we get that people count. Would this give us more time, I guess, is my question to the budget, or is it still playing you on the Sure. So I'm looking at the moderator, so yeah. instead of actually what? <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm not going to beat the whatever, dead with the dead horse. sick, dead horse. <laughs> I said a dog the last time. <laughs> but uh, hey, we, we, we had the numbers long before. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. We had 904 pupils in time. But we were arguing that we had 913. Next year we won't argue. Yes. Yeah, I think voter turnout trumps the information, and I think this year we should make a hard press to get the state to come up with the information we need in a timely fashion to do our budgets. Mm -hmm. well, I was going to say there's also a, there's been a tradition where we don't have any more. Uh, we have the <coughs> you know, we we talk about the uh, town meeting in the morning. We used to go to the school district in the afternoon. So there might, there might be folks who would like to have that conversation mm -hmm. by coming somewhere in the afternoon since we're a unified district. So. Yeah, I mean, that's a good point. Woodstock used to have half our town meeting was the town business and the second half was the elementary school. Yeah. So at what I think your point is that a lot of people are accustomed yeah. to doing both on the same day. And Sam, you had a... No, that's not... No, no. Sam, Dean and Valley had uh, it was just the logistics of it all, just because, I mean, the town meeting um, would suck to even end. So, like, that was on I, Saturday, though. This would be the Tuesday. This would be the Tuesday. Uh, right, because the Australian ballot. It would be the first Monday now. in March. I mean, first Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday in March. March. Okay. okay. Yeah, I, re I do recall. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> Ed, did you have a question, Ed? Uh, I don't understand, didn't understand what that last discussion. So... Um, the, the question is, once now that the district is unified, they're, they're, we're not in this nebulous area. Barnard has joined the district, so it's the whole district. They need to hold the vote like we did last Tuesday on the same day as this meeting, as this open meeting. It needs to be done on the same day. So the question is, do we do it on town meeting day when you go to the polls and vote? Then maybe you'd come here in the evening for this meeting? all on Tuesday, rather than a week later. That's what's proposed. You understand? I understand. Okay, that's fine. Yes? So are we saying vote on something we may not have all the information for? We and then do that anyway because the state sets the tax rate in June or whatever. So irregardless of what, or regardless of what the data is, we're gonna vote if it's the wrong numbers, what do we do then? Jim? So, we've always in the past have gotten the numbers for the per pupil in November. This year we got it in December. There was some miscalculations we thought that were in there. We argued it. We didn't win. But we did have, if we would have won with the number in December, that's fine. What, the, what Max is talking about here is, is that this state really sets the spending per child, the, the number that comes in. They can set that in May or June. So no matter what, even if we do it in April, it's not going to, we're still not going to have that number. The tax dollar rate that they've already given us already right now, that can change in June. And we've seen that many times where they change calculation numbers, they change the dollar rate. And your question of is, what do we do? We Pay the bill. The, the, I mean, what I'm you're sorry, voting on, that's the <coughs> you're voting on a budget. You're voting on how much you're going to spend per pupil. It used to be that when you voted on a budget per pupil, you knew what the implications of that were on your individual tax rate. Under Act 60 and Act 46, you don't know the implications until later on. It, it's, it's it's crazy. <laughs> it's it's a, it's a strange way to do business, um, but that's 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 the way we've been for a number of years. Because at town meeting we're saying, okay, we approve spending this much, but we don't know how much we have to send to the state to get this much back. 
that's set later. Was there another question back here? Yes. So I do have a question. For years, even when it was just the high school district, uh, this pup floor meeting was held on a different day than the actual Australian ballot voting on the budget. Right. So what makes it different now that we're this unified district? Yeah. Why can't it stay that the even if the floor meeting was the night before or um, something to that effect? And you have the Australian ballot going on um, the same on town meeting day. It's in statute. In statute says that it's business is conducted on the same day. I can't speak to why the high school did it differently. Uh, Jim and so basically, I'm thinking about my buddy over here, Ray Rice, out of Pittsfield, who doesn't get to vote on anything whether he's in the <laughs> side by side. <laughs> their their town had a vote this year, and they started the vote. And then there was a certain part that they pushed out a day. They asked, so it was on the agenda, and somehow the statute, you were able to move it to another day. Because they're not a unified district. As well unified. as it conflicted with the primary voting okay. for the primary. Yeah. I mean, you okay. can make a motion October. To, to, to mm -hmm. Yeah, you can table it and move you, you, it. You, you, you can right. table it. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Adjourned. You adjourned the meeting and move it to another specific. day. Right. Yes, and then I'll get back to I'm wondering, as we see the we town clerks here, together. obviously that's a huge burden to them to have to come that night. Mm -hmm. Well, that would be Ben's problem next year. They're running elections until 7 p.m. Oh, no, and then they're counting votes. Okay. And then they're counting votes. They can votes. send a representative, a JP. They're with us counting votes. Yeah. But no matter which day we do it, it's the same thing. We're, we're picking one day. That's true. That's yes, true. But the point, the That's point true. being that on town meeting day, all the town clerks and the JPs are busy. The polls close at 7, then they go right to counting ballots. So let me get this straight though then. So the day that we're gonna have the vote for the unified district would still be held in each individual town. The Australian ballot would be. The Australian ballot. Mm -hmm. And the town clerks will need to be there to have that election for another date anyway. And they'll still be there till seven o'clock at night. Okay. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> but their board of right. civil authority should be large enough with their select board, their five JPs, the town clerk, the assistant town clerk, they should be able to spare one person to come with a vote. Well, I was just saying it doesn't matter which day it is, if it's yeah. on the same okay. day as okay. the election or if it's another week or two weeks later. Yeah, yeah the, the only issue will come up every four years. Yeah. What's that? The only issue will be every four years, presidential primary is a killer. But we'll vote that next <coughs> in, in three years from now of right. when the fourth year is going to be. Uh, it was right here. Just a technical question. We just, uh, a couple of minutes ago, voted to ratify results. Mm -hmm. And you wouldn't be able to do that at a meeting on the same day. We you are ratifying have the because it was held on a different day. It but wouldn't be in our we were ratifying because it was held, because on, the it was held on a different day. So, so you're, you're going to have a separate happen. meeting anyway to ratify the results? No. no. You would not need to ratify okay. if your meetings are on the same day. Okay. okay. That's fine. Yes. Well, to that point, once the meeting starts, the ratification could be put to the end of the meeting, and if the results still aren't there, it could be postponed to a date certain or tabled. Right, but you don't need to. Right. The purpose of ratifying today was because we voted Australian ballot oh, on a different day of the meeting. Right, right. You would, that, That's the that only article reason it appeared disappear. as an article. Mm -hmm. All the other ones are so easy. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so there is a motion on the floor to um, move the district meetings to town meeting day. Is there any other discussion? My only concern is we haven't stated a time. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that becomes problematic if we have it on town meeting day and somebody chooses 11 o'clock in the morning or, or should we, <laughs> should we, have, we, we can amend the motion That's to out of time. That would be the best. I'll, I'll make it. 7 o'clock. Right. P.M. P.M. I'll accept that change and then who seconded it? Second. I did. Okay. 7 p.m. Second mm -hmm. the amendment. Andy Cole. Accepted. Relative. <laughs> 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 um, so there's a, uh, so there is an um, amendment on the floor to um, specify the time as 7 p.m. All those in favor say aye. 
Aye. Aye. Those opposed, nay. So the amendment is passed. If there's no further questions or comments, we would vote on the article as amended, which would be to move our annual district meeting to town meeting day at 7 p.m. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. The ayes have it. So Article 11 is adopted. Article 12. Shall the voters of the Windsor Central Modified Unified Union School District authorize the Board of Directors under uh, Title 16 Vermont Statutes Annotated 562 to borrow money by issuance of bonds or notes not in excess of anticipated revenue for the school year? So moved. moved by Jim Half. Is there a second? Second. Tim Bishop. Um, any questions or comments on this? Seeing none, we will vote on Article 12. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. The ayes have it. So Article 13, to transact any other school business thought proper when met. Um, yes. So I'm not sure how to phrase this, but I'd like to make a motion to, um, from this point forward, that this district is called the Windsor Central Unified Union School District, and that should um, also address Article 12, like anything named here. Effective July 1. Effective July 1, yeah. Second. So the Windsor Central Unified Union School District. What's the acronym? W.C. Good. Any other discussion? And and no, I'm not sure if you can. Do I'm anything not, binding yeah, under? I'm not sure if this is a voter. Yeah, I, I, I don't know that we can do anything binding under this article, um, but it would certainly I would the, the, I would expect that the school board could. The reason that I think it seems important is we just voted on Article 12, but the name is actually legally incorrect, so that seems odd to me. So it feels like we should address that. Um, well, it wouldn't. Um, but, I don't think that it would impact it. I'm not a lawyer. But yeah. but um, the, the point being, I don't think that we can actually do anything legally binding under Article 13. It tends to be right. an advisor because it right. wasn't warned. Um, typically, you cannot do any take any binding action on an article like this, and it's often warned that way. Um, but it certainly can serve as an advisory um, to, you know, if people want to do it, the school board, I'm sure the school board has the authority to... It's just simply about crossing the T's and... Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I, that's all. Can we just amend it to say we recommend? Sure. So yeah. Yeah. I'll I mean, second that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think you even have to, but yeah, but you did. I also want to just say, Pamela, that I'm, I'm pretty sure, I mean, I'm more than sure it's the intention of the superintendent to enter into a discussion with the board about... The, about naming very soon because it does now we need to change our name and I think there was a thought anyway it's a mouthful to begin with so now that thankfully we have everybody on board it makes sense to choose a name that you know that works for us right and I, 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 I think honestly the, the board has the authority to, to do that regardless so it, it, it's good to get input but there's no need to take any binding action I mean, if you want to take a vote on the sense of the meeting, we can do that. Please. Sure. So, all those in favor of recommending to the school board that we change the name to the Windsor Central Unified Union District, say aye. 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 Those opposed, <coughs> um, Is there any other business to come before this meeting? Adjourn. A motion to adjourn from Jim Half. Second. Second from Sandy Mattel. All in favor, say aye. 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 Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Matt.